We have the lovely Debbie Venus back with us. Clap it for Miss Debbie. Thanks for joining. Hello, hello. We How got great raving reviews the last time you were on, and I know I was excited to get you back on. Happy to be here. Good. good. One thing, um, we, we had an opportunity to be together yesterday at an event for a, a lovely uh, foundation we support, um, Nomni Bucks County. And um, during that event, Miss Debbie and I were speaking, and she read an awesome article um, and has been doing a little bit of research around just in general, I believe that you can correct me if I'm wrong, but kindness and caring and how there's lack of certain empathy in the world right now that was maybe there before the pandemic and it's really impacting people. So wanted to bring Miss Debbie on to talk more about that, have a conversation around it because I couldn't agree any more and I think it's more relevant uh, than ever. So why don't we uh, turn it over to you, Miss Debbie, and why don't we share what, what you've been reading, re researching, and, and experiencing. Sure. Okay. Um, I was reading an article, and it had to do with the lack of kindness in the world today and how that is affecting mental health. Basically, people's lack of empathy, caring, kindness, it's contributed to poor mental health. It's there's an old saying, happiness is contagious. Well, guess what? So is negativity. People can feed off of that. And you feed off of it for a long enough time and people just become negative. And it causes a downslide. And then people that are feeling depressed or anxious and not in the right place are going to feel worse because nobody around them is lifting them up. And then research says kindness contributes deeply is a connection to good mental health. So I think this world needs to find ways to get back to a little bit more kindness. You know, there's that play it forward stuff, which I totally believe in, but you can do something as simple as a smile. How many times have you been somewhere where you make eye contact with somebody and instead of making eye contact back, they look down or they look away. Just smile. There's, this doesn't cost you anything. Hold a door open. It, that doesn't cost anything either. It's just like just common courtesy, empathy, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't agree anymore. And I think we were talking before we uh, you know, started recording here the pandemic has made it so difficult for that connection because it physically separated everyone. And we got into a place where everyone was working from home and now there's remote activity and you have people that are still not going in person and you lose that human element and that human touch. Yes. It's um, something- That, that isolation. Like, absolutely. I think even firsthand, um, my beautiful wife, Christina started working at a new job and she starts commuting into the city and I could tell that she's way more lively and um, she's way more positive and excited to see the people that she's working with rather than, you know, just opening up a Zoom call and just kind yeah. of checking the box with work. It's, it's really, it's really interesting you say that. And I think just speaking on, you know, her behalf and myself, when I started going to the office more, you feel way better when you're just in general having these small conversations with, hey, how are you doing? Hey, good to see you. And that's, you don't get that personal touch when you're remote or, you know, hiding behind a screen. So it's a great point you're making. I think that we have as a society lost the ability to communicate. One of the things is, listen, I love my cell phone and I love to be able to shoot a text get the message across, but there's nothing like a conversation. There's nothing like dialing that phone and talking to somebody or FaceTiming somebody because you actually have a connection. You don't have a connection with a text. You There's, there's nothing that has the feeling there. You can use emojis and stuff, but how many times do people read that wrong? You know, imagine being in a bad mental health position feeling depressed, feeling anxious, and, and reading a text and taking it totally out of context. 
Mm-hmm. That could take you on a slide downhill. But if somebody talked to you and was you heard a voice, you heard the tone in the voice, mm-hmm. would make such a big difference. And I know that yeah. this generation that's coming up right now, the kids that are in high school, college, everybody texts. Nobody does the phone anymore. And old people like me, we used to run home from school and get on the telephone and call each other. And that was the big deal. But you know what? We cared about each other. Yeah, we had yeah. empathy. We, we used kindness. And I think the kindness needs to be used in a little bit of everything. Maybe we need to think about it more in big business, corporations, government, instead of the nastiness that we have. Yeah, and I apologize for laughing in the middle there because you said texts sometimes don't come off the right way. And I could only think of the <laughs> mutual connection of my mother and her texting, how um, she's, she's definitely as someone pick up the phone, have a great conversation with, and um, texting is, is maybe just a, a point A to point B for her. Gets it done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, when you were saying um, all of that, it made me think, too, that – on the other end of that hello or the how are you doing, you don't like know what someone's going through. And so a warm smile, a warm eye to eye contact um, really goes a long way. It does. And I think uh, I can remember back just with myself. We, we got lovely Rover who's at my feet right now. Thank God he's not jumping up. Saying hello. If only he knew Miss Debbie was on. on the I know. <laughs> yeah, he would be jumping up. Um, but there is, there's times I, I've talked with Christina about it where I'm, I'm just maybe in a funk or you know going through a low of mine, and I'm just like my head is down, walking through the neighborhood, and you know not necessarily like you know trying to avoid small conversations. And I like told her, I said like, Hey, I'm like not really feeling it myself. And you know, she was like, why don't you just like start saying hello to people? And I do and, and did in the past. And I, I don't really know and have strong relationships to the people that I walk by, but there's common people that I see that it's a warm, friendly hello. And I know there's some people that I do a, a warm, friendly hello to that may have their head down or, you know, may look in a, you know, non-positive way. So you just never know what's behind the head down or, or whatever. No, you don't. It doesn't hurt. Um, I think when Mac was on, or, or maybe maybe even Al, or just everyone maybe has been saying this, it doesn't hurt to be positive. And it doesn't hurt to be kind. I think maybe Jake said that too. And um, and it's, it's, it's it might seem actually like, harder to do than putting your head down, but you feel so much better because I, I think you may have said this too in the beginning, but what you put out to the universe comes right back to you. Exactly. Exactly. I'm a big advocate of manifesting. Mm. I, it's putting yourself in this positive mind space, throwing positive energy out to get it back. If anything, it makes you feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I does. I mean, I go back to my the the last podcast where I did a solo one. I was talking about my self talk and how I was ruminating in this negativity, but I was realizing that I am the one who's continuing the conversation around the negativity, and and mm-hmm. and I and I had to start with positive self talk. But the next thing is throwing stuff out to the universe, like you're talking about being. Mm-hmm positive, kind, caring, and, you know, so many people are having conversations and trying to, hey, let me relate it to me, or, you know, and, and whether they're mean harm or not, but maybe taking a step back and like, no, I want to hear what you're going through and, and let's talk about it. You will see a change in that conversation, how much that means to the other person. And in return, you're like, well, this is, this is good. I'm like doing this from the goodness of my heart having a good conversation because I care about this person and that both people will be lifted up. It feels good when you connect with somebody mm-hmm. and that you feel like you uplifted them just a little bit or you put a smile on their face or they said, gee, thanks for that. You know, it's like, and then you feel better about it. It's you throw it out there. It comes back to you. I just, I, 
I think that if you were constantly more positive, how can somebody continue to be negative then? It, it, it's going to be contagious the other way, just like I said in the beginning. I think it's really, really important, and it's important to think about what's going on in that other person's mind. What's going on in their life? Yeah. You know, yeah. is, are they having a hard time? They might be putting on a smile but be really struggling, but when they get somebody else that smiles back and starts a warm conversation, I think that that's going to make them feel a little bit better. They're not going to feel so isolated. Yeah. Yeah. It almost thing too with you saying all this that you don't know where someone is on. Let's just to the theme of the the show here on their climb, right? Mm -hmm. They could be getting knocked back down to the bottom of the mountain, just being pelted, you know, by hypothetical rocks, mm -hmm. and you don't know how much your generosity could probably kick them into the next level that they needed to be. Yes, turn them around, and 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 it's. Small actions like that across the board, you know, make you feel better as well. So it's it's kind of moving in the right direction. So I I couldn't agree more with you know this topic and and you kind of bringing it up here. Yeah, I think it's it's something that each person you start out with little things and it starts to snowball in a good way, and I think that that's important and to be conscious to do it. Like I'll go to the grocery store. I did it today. I was conscious about going down the aisles. I make eye contact. I smile. If I have to get by, I say, excuse me. How many times have you been in a grocery store where somebody has taken the cart and roamed around or, you know, just cut in front of you or whatever? It's like, <laughs> I just kind of shake my head and laugh, but it's like, and I'll just be like, excuse me. And it makes a difference and people respond back. Like, I don't know all of these people. Yeah. yeah. I think a good combination with just the positive actions is not assuming an excuse me for, you know, negativity or yeah. like contradicting, um, excuse me. You know, don't take everything as, you know, this negative slap in the face you don't know in general how people are saying it or doing it, but if you take it at you know face value and that and that people are trying to do good, then mm -hmm. and you're already in that state of you know oh yeah sorry so go ahead don't always take everything so personal. Not everyone is out here to you know right. attack you and right. break you down. And think about think about your tone, mm -hmm. think about your facial expression. Yeah, all of that makes a difference. And if they are truly just being a brat, they're yeah. not worth your time, emotion, or energy. So keep moving on. Yeah. Don't don't get yourself beat up about it. Just keep your positivity going and move on to the next thing that you're doing for the day. Yeah. One thing I, I like saying, and Christina hates me saying it, is um, lions don't, um, what is it called? Lions don't take, wow, I'm really butchering it. Lions don't care for the opinions of sheep or something of that nature. Okay, okay. So it's essentially don't don't worry, you know, about what other people are thinking or bring you down to their right. level. Um, well, cool. This is a good one here. But what in particular do you think that, and I'll say one too, that you're going to do to spread, I guess, this kindness to kind of uplift people that, that aren't maybe even noticing it themselves? I think that I'm consciously going to make an effort just in my daily routine, my daily interactions with people to do something kind, it, like a compliment, say. You might say, gee, I really like what you're wearing or, gee, that's really your, your car is really nice or something. Just a, a little compliment to somebody can make all the world of difference. So my interactions with people, I'm going to try to say something positive to them and compliment them mm -hmm. just to lift them up. Absolutely. Kill them with kindness in the best way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me and Rover will be saying hello to everyone. So I won't be getting a lot of steps in, but we'll be kind and, and saying hi. And, and I think uh, something I try to do is smile more. And uh -huh. try to continuously smile 
and let that be the, you know, the catalyst to a, a positivity uh, chain reaction. I'm a big smiler. I smile a lot. Yeah. I think it's, um, it's, it's easier to frown than smile. Mm-hmm. So it's, mm-hmm. it's harder to be, you know, in that, that positive, you know, way of smiling. But I think it does make you happier if you're consistently and smiling and trying to smile and trying to be uplifted. So I think that's an easy one for me instead of my, um, you know, resting bad face. <laughs> <laughs> great. Awesome. Well, Miss Debbie, I think this was a great, another great one. We'll have to have you on. Um, would love to hear more about what you do yourself um, to kind of keep your head on straight, but definitely appreciate the time. And um, My everyone, pleasure. please follow Team Garbo on Instagram. Miss Debbie's heading up the social. She does a lot of work for Team Garbo. She does a lot of work with fundraising, putting on events, putting baskets, and she did a great job recently with our fall fundraiser. And I think there was 10 baskets that were worth in total $2,000. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So follow us on Instagram, come to the next fundraiser. Miss Debbie's going to have a basket. That's well worth your time. So I appreciate (laughs) all of it. Miss Debbie. Thank you again. Oh, my pleasure. Have a good night. Bye. Love you. Miss Debbie. Take care. Love you too, honey.